Hi game devs, this is JNM and it's time for the next series, creating a well game asset with Blender and later with Substance Painter. This is the first part in which I'm going to create the base mesh of the well. So let's start with Blender 2.79 with a simple cylinder. The mesh will be very low poly, but I will add more details to it in a next part. In this one we will create a kind of base mesh. Now I switch to edit mode with edge selection and use extrude and scale to form the essential shape of the well. I close the bottom part by pressing E then S followed by 0 and don't forget to remove the doubles afterwards. Ok, I want to create the lower ring in the upper part too, so I duplicate it, I select it with box select by pressing the B key and then duplicate it by pressing Shift D. Then I press R, X, 180 to rotate it 180 degrees. I activate snapping for edges by holding the control key and snap this part to the upper edge. Then I remove the duplicated vertices by clicking the remove doubles button. Great. Afterwards I remove the upper faces and use the extrude and scale techniques to model the whole of the well. I press the set key to change to wireframe mode and then I extrude this part here inwards. Alright, then I press S and 0 to fill this and remove the doubles, perhaps this will be a kind of water surface later on, we will see. Now I select some edges of the well to provide them with a bevel, which I activate with Ctrl and B. Ok, I'm happy with that. Now let's create the roof. And I start with the wooden beams that are located on the right and on the left side. So I will add a simple cube and scale it. Just like that. And then I will add an edge loop here in the center. So that I can grab this edge here at the top to create a kind of tip or peak. Just move it upwards and I use snapping to the grid to create a 45 degrees angle. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Yeah, I think this will work here. Now I scale and position it before I add further beams for the outer sides. And by the way, I create each part as a separate object and don't extrude it out from an existing one, because this is how it is in reality, right? It also gives me the possibility to add bevels, for example, for the separate objects or materials. It has a lot of advantages, we will see this later on. Now for this guy here I need a vertical cut, so I use the knife tool by pressing the K key. And then I press C for a vertical angle and then set to cut through the model. Then I switch to face selection mode, select these faces and delete them. Then I select this edge, press F and here we go. Now we'll switch the transform orientation for this face here and move it along the normals to increase the size of this beam and I will need this part again, so I will duplicate it and rotate it around the set axis 180 degrees and move it to the right side. Now switch to object mode and join these new parts together by pressing Ctrl J. But we can still in edit mode select the separate parts by hovering over them with the mouse and pressing the L key. And then I duplicate and reuse these parts to create smaller supporting beams.
I scale this one and move the faces again with the transform orientation normals till it fits and then I duplicate it and bring it to the right side. Ok, we finished the first part, now I can scale it and move it to the correct position and then I just duplicate it. For creating the roof I will add a plane and rotate it 45 degrees and find the correct scale and location. After that I switch to edit mode and face selection and extrude out this face. Alright then let's duplicate this roof part, bring it to the right side and rotate it 90 degrees around the X axis. And here's our well, at least the base mesh. The last thing that I will do is to adjust the height of the bottom part. Ok, that's it for the first part of the series, in the next part I'll add more details to make the model look more realistic and then I'll do the UV unwrapping. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you can follow along and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified when the next part is online. If you want to support me, please use my Patreon, this would really help. Thanks for watching and come back soon.